Hi guys, I will be brutally raw, very honest and maybe a bit uh, strict in this video but I want to get truth out there and I want people that want to wake up to wake up. If you don't want, keep sleeping, right? It's, things are simple. Listen, you and me, we both know that we, we haven't lived our full potential. We haven't seen the best results. We haven't lived the best life. We haven't connected with the best people we can. I want to live an intentional and purposeful life. How do we do that with fucking courage? How do we get courage? When you know what you want, that you can do things that you once thought that you can't, like doing a handstand, like doing a flip, like sculpting your physique, like getting rid of that fat and living an intentional, intentional, healthy lifestyle by being able to control and dominate your mind by learning that you are not your thoughts, you are not controlled by Instagram, social media and the opinion of other people. These have governed millions, billions of people and I see that around and honestly I'm spending most of my time alone because it's toxic to spend time with people that are hiding behind their fingers and just spending time for the sake of spending it. Do you get it? Spending. You are paying, brother. You are paying with your time for doing things that are destroying your health, declining your mental stability, destroying your body, your mind, frying your mind and limiting your potential and not living a life that's worth living or that's making you proud. We are living, seeking things externally when the truth comes from within. If you want to be more, you have to act and the quality of your actions depends on what you are and what you are depends on what you think and what you think depends on what information you get and all the information you get you get it from the five senses 100 percent of the time food is for the body it what you eat you become right but also what you eat for the mind becomes what you think how do you eat what is the food for the mind and where does it come through? It comes through your eyes and your freaking ears. Where do you point them? Point them. What do you eat daily? Do you eat TikTok, Instagram, politician fucking bullshit? Or are you opening up a book? Or are you opening up a page and writing about your life, who you want to become, what do you want to achieve? What do you, do, what do you want to create for yourself? Are you living in the past or in the future? Are you present in any moment of your life? Or are you creating a fog around you that you can't even observe the abundant beauty and intelligence that we are lucky enough to share and have around us? I'm really passionate about this stuff, guys. And it's enough. Enough, enough is enough. I, don't, I can't see more suffering around us. Bodybuilding. The new age way of training. Get the muscle, get the body, get the girl. What the fuck is going on with people? Yeah, do things for, the, for your body, but man, doing things to get puff and just lift fucking iron is ego. It's toxic. It's doing things for the external world. The world is within. Everything is freaking mental. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you think like shit, you will experience and live shit. It's as simple as that. So if you feel like shit, you know that you're the creator, nobody else. You are the one creating your reality. That's the beautiful thing, but you can also make it fucking hell to live in that. I needed to get this off of my chest because I see it daily and it's motivating me to create solutions. That's I've always been a healer inside my soul. I want to do good for myself and others in order to do a lot of good and I need to do a lot of good for myself so I invested endless amount of time energy into my own education into my own body into up leveling my own character and really having this critical think thinking to live a mature life so I can provide value to others so what I've done I've created a community so people that are like-minded and that are resonating with what I just shared and knows that they can live more and they should live more but they lack either the support, either the environment, either the knowledge, the vision or a freaking clear path so they can take the one step in front of the other. Right now I, I'm opening up my virtual temple for 10 people. 
that want to act that want to act and take ownership to live a life of mental resilience and stability and really unblocking the potential through a physical practice that's holistic like the ancient Greek did it through the tetras we not only work and exercise the mind we exercise to be better we exercise to learn and reframe failing you can't grow without failing what's the purpose of life to grow look at our, around you everything is spiraling up every flower if you see it in a fast forward video it's moving like this everything is going upwards why are we going downwards why everybody's seeking the meaning of life it's growth what are you baptizing as growth success is living what you want that's it what do you want do you even know have you even taken the time to sit down and do that sorry i'm speaking like an asshole right now but it, for me this is like the alphabet you know do you want to feel better do you want to have a better life take freaking responsibility stop postponing it stop doing things inst instead of the most important thing what's the most important thing for you your health you're selling your time to the big companies the big farmers the big industries the new currency is your freaking attention and you're giving it away like it's nothing like it's nothing and when you give your energy your attention away like it's nothing guess what you can't invest it into what's important to you if you have already used all your dopamine all your energy before getting out of bed by scrolling what do you think will happen to your life <laughs> nothing will happen no growth for sure no no shit that you are depressed no shit that that you lack happiness <laughs> you're not taking an energy and putting it into your fucking taurus that will bring it back to you if you want quality put out quality into your life if you want change you need to change your identity if you identify with a person that is unhealthy depressed that lack confidence that's weak then that's what you're feeding that's what you're seeing that's what you're seeing around yeah i can't speak to that girl no i'm weak i'm not beautiful man you are abundant do you even understand what's inside you so do you want success move your body do you want to live a better life move your body do you want to get confidence move your body what gets stagnated brings sickness you are 80 percent of water if you don't move the water the water gets stagnated what happens to water when it stays still it gets fucking dirty and toxic and then your thoughts become toxic and then your reality becomes toxic if you think that fucking depression is illness that is in the air no you are creating the fucking illness do you think cancer was here 100 years ago i don't think so it's what you've, we've been eating and the way we have been living if you live in fear do you know that fear and stress can kill you do you know who's creating it you but how is that happening because you've been programmed to live in fear we're living like fucking slaves because we because we don't know and have education do you know what education is it is to acquire it's the process of knowing the processing and the learnings of the mind it's learning to know 90 percent of your life is subconscious living how many times have it happened to you to pick up the phone without knowing why but you just picked it up and you clicked and maybe you got into instagram has it ever happened to you to read a page in a book reach the end level of the page and you were in freaking elsewhere land and you had to reread it consciously because you were thinking something else that's 90 percent of your life brother it's how you react to life that matters because if you have been programmed to react unproductively you're creating your own fear and you're killing yourself anyway if any of this resonates if any of this picks your interest i have a link in the description please go read it's educational stuff and if you care about joining a community that's like-minded and want to get some shit done in their life and live to a potential that will make them proud that will be shared with a community and finally belong somewhere and don't live in darkness in fear and lack of knowledge i want to give everything do you understand 
one year a day that's what i'm doing it's fucking crazy while pe other people are selling this information for thousands i want this to give it to my younger self there you go jonathan life shouldn't be suffering it shouldn't be pain it shouldn't be injury it shouldn't be depression it shouldn't be lack of confidence it shouldn't be fucking roadblocks all the times we need to stop creating walls and start making bridges we need each other bro <laughs> sister we need each other understand this there's no lonely wolf that's there by decision a lonely wolf leaves his pack because he either get, gets injured or he chose to leave the pack because he wanted to live a greater life. But what they, a pack, a, lo, a wolf is destined to do is to live and serve something that's greater than him. And that's with a pack. So he maybe left a pack because it wasn't serving him and he knew that he wanted more. We have a, a pack of people that want more. I used to say, oh, I know I don't need anyone, I'm a lonely wolf, because I wasn't educated. I didn't know stuff. Now I just know that I don't know, and this is what brings me purpose, to know more. Leave me your thoughts in the comments, subscribe if you haven't, share this with a friend that needs to see this. Only truth, guys. Only truth. Warriors of the light. Let's fucking go. Life is a game that we play. We haven't chosen what environment we are put in, what, but we fucking decide how to play it and with who. I've decided. Have you?